Mantras for food guilt. <gasps> wow, this is going to be a lot of fun. The following program is rated TV M-A-N-O-C. It contains a big pair of nuts directly on your chin. It is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. What's going on, fam? It's your boy, Papa Swolio, back with some more nuts on yo chin. Thank you so much for being here. I know you're ready for some salty sack. I'm happy to oblige and to offer you a nice burly pair. But before we get started, make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I post a new video. And remember to check out my other channel, The Daily Swole, for my live stream podcast every single day right here on YouTube at The Daily Swole. You can also follow The Daily Swole podcast on Apple Podcasts. Spotify, you could bang your ear holes with Pop and the Fam every single day. Go check it out. Uh, this post is about mantras for food guilt. So exciting, so exciting. That's that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about food guilt today. Oh yay. Oh yay. So let's go through this. This is from Jennifer Rowland, MSW LCSWLC. Just a lot of letters. The more letters, the better. The more letters you have, the more information you provide, or so it would seem. Okay, so this post on Instagram, mantras for food guilt. When my body digests food glucose, food glucose. When my body digests food glucose looks the same, it doesn't matter if it came from quinoa, or cake, both are gross. Um, it does matter because those foods have many other things in them that might not work out well for you, i.e. cake. Oh, a cake is the same as quinoa, is the same as an apple. Same, same, but different. I am not a robot. Okay, what? My body can handle eating more than usual and will simply use that additional energy. Oh, you think so? You think your body just uses additional energy just because you have it there? What do you think stored fat is? That's stored energy. Why is it there? Because you eat too much and you don't use energy. <sighs> yeah, doesn't come off that easily now, does it? Your body can handle eating more than usual. That might suit a hunter-gatherer tribe if you don't eat for a few days and you kill a buffalo and then you engorge, but not when you're eating more than usual every day. Most people are, 75% of the population's overweight and obese. Calories are life-giving energy. Life-giving. Not something to be feared. Oh, shut the fuck up. Oh, this is so stupid. Calories are life-giving energy, so that means they're all okay because you can get energy from calories because calories is what energy, that's a unit of energy, okay? A kilocalorie is a unit of energy. That's how we define, that's how we quantify energy. So life-giving, great. So they're all equal? No, they're not, that's for sure. Oh, thank you for covering it. No food is good or bad. Now, this is one of those taint-rubbing sentences that is supposed to make you real, like supposed to open up your eyes. Oh my God, there's no food that is good? Food can't be good or bad. So it's all just food? No, food absolutely is good and food can absolutely be bad. It depends on how you define what good or bad is. Processed carbs, processed sugar, i.e. McDonald's, bad. It's not good for you, don't fucking eat it. It can easily be good or bad. You have to define what those are. Next garbage post. My body is smart, but your brain is I don't need to try to micromanage it. Your body is reacting to its environment. Your body has been in an abnormal environment and has been eating garbage crap probably your entire life. So it's not that smart. It needs new software. It needs to be reinstalled. It needs to have a clean slate, which is why inside Swolenormous X, we always talk about the elimination diet. That's why inside the kitchen, Inside Swolenormous X, you can check the link below if you wanna learn more about SwolenormousX.com. We have the Nutrition Jumpstart. We walk you through the elimination diet so you can customize your nutrition, so you can actually improve your body's IQ. You can actually improve and reset your body so you're actually reacting to foods properly. Most people are just reacting to every single dopamine hit from all the processed sugar and carbs and crap that you're consuming all the time. Your body doesn't know the difference. You've been in that environment your entire life. You need to reset, you need to go back Back to the fucking ground floor. You need to you need to start from scratch. And of course, the last little taint rub armor on the shoulder. My life is worth so much more than obsessing about food and my body. Then stop obsessing about your body. Then stop obsessing about food. Realize 
that you are in a society or an environment that is trying to get you to buy things so big companies, big food can make money. Doesn't mean you should be eating them. Most of what you will find in a supermarket is designed and marketed for a profit margin. They wanna make money. Are tortillas healthy? Fuck no, they're not. They wanna make money, so they give you a buy one, get one free. Oh, these Doritos, oh, only in moderation, but the bag is $5. Oh, buy one, get one 50% off. They just want you to buy it. That's why all the bags are bright red, bright orange, bright yellow. They mimic ripe fruit on a tree. It's not real, okay? That's a long supply chain. Those things are coming from thousands of miles away. They're also preserved on a shelf for months, if not years. It's not real food. Now, whether you wanna classify it as good or bad, we definitely have a problem in this country with people understanding how to fucking eat. And absolute garbage like this, oh, food guilt, don't be guilty. The whole body positive, everyone gets a big old hug and an eighth place trophy. That is just pushing people off the cliff. That's pushing people further and further into the abyss of diabetes, heart disease, cancer, and much more. That's why we're having so many problems with the 19 and other viruses and illnesses because people have garbage metabolic health, period, end of story. But what are your thoughts? Drop a comment down below. I hate all this tiptoeing and pussyfooting around the actual facts and common sense and literal conversation around eating the foods that you should be eating. Okay, no one wants to think about, oh my God, you gotta take my cookies away? Oh, no, I want my banky, I want my banky, and you're pacifier. You're not a baby, you're not a dog, you don't need treats, you don't need something to suck on all the time. Enough with the oral fixation, the instant gratification, put in some real fucking work, put off that gratification, work hard for something. Work hard for something in your life. Be an inspiration to people around you. Actually promote health and prosperity to your family and to your fucking kids. Seriously, we need that in this world. We need that. If you're ready to get started today, join the Swole Fam. Check out SwoleNormousX.com. Major specials going on right now, but they end this week. Don't miss out on that. SwoleNormousX.com. Full programs, full yoga studio, full kitchen with a recipe archive and such. You also have a virtual trainer. You got a meditation center. You got everything you need, plus the greatest fitness fam in the realm. You get access to Swole TV. Got lots of exclusive content. We got Swole Motion behind the scenes vlogs. Got driving while gaining uncensored. Too hot for YouTube. Too hot for TV. Check it out inside Swole TV. Also, we have Nuts on Chin Unplugged. If you like these videos, I react to my own videos. It's fucking hilarious. You'll enjoy it. Plus the Raw series and so much more inside Swole TV. Plus everything else I outlined over at SwoleNormousX.com. You don't need anything else in 2021 to crush all seven pillars of your life, community, nutrition, training, recovery, mobility, mindfulness, that's, I forgot the thumb, and consistency. There's seven of them, there's seven of them. You can download your free copy of the seven pillars over at swornormousx.com, but all those links down below, but you get the point. It's 2021, we're in February already. Are you taking care of your shit or are you still making excuses? Hmm? Be honest with yourself. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified, and drop a comment down below. And I'll see you real soon for some more nuts in your chin. Peace the fuh out. Stay woke, but y'all sleep. Real emo, but y'all sheep. Out in public, she a good girl, but at the crib, she a real freak. New throne for the new king. Same kid, now my streets go. Same gang, got the cheat code. I said, stay woke, we in real emo. I said, stay woke, real emo. Stay woke, real emo. I said, stay woke. Stay woke, real emotion. 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 Y'all some jokers, y'all a bunch of clowns. You will not get a laugh out of me. You can talk, but you can't denounce. I live a different theology. Why I transfer to a new account? You just fucked over a prodigy. Posted up with a running crown. You are the king of the apology. You about to see a new side of me. I hope you know.